okay dear students welcome to my session on batteries from electrochemistry wherein the topic uh, batteries in that we are going to see a primary battery in this session that is nothing but a dry cell also known as Leclanche cell okay in this video you're going to learn about its importance and its uh, uh, chemical equation and its construction and all okay let us start actually this dry cell is also called as a dry cell battery it's also known as Leclanche cell in this a zinc container is present, we have that acts as anode. So, this a zinc container is there that acts as anode. What is that one? Is uh, This is nothing but we have zinc. This is a negatively charged electrode plate. At the same time, we have some graphite rods are there. Here, this is a graphite rod is there. And that graphite rod is said to be acts as a cathode. Okay. And the cathode here actually is said to be surrounded by uh, a powdered magnesium dioxide and carbon. So, this rod is surrounded by uh, some powdered manganese dioxide and carbon. Whereas the space between the electrodes is filled by moist ammonium chloride. Okay. You have some other space is there. That space is said to be filled with the, the moist moist Ammonium chloride, moist ammonium chloride, NH4Cl. And this is actually its uh, construction part. Whereas, if you start observing the electrode reactions, that means, before knowing that, once again I will repeat, what is zinc? Zinc is uh, nothing but an anode. So, the zinc is negative electrode in this. Zinc is negative electrode that is anode. And what is cathode asked? Suppose in the exam, cathode is nothing but the graphite rod or carbon rod, graphite rod, which is positive electrode. Positive electrode. It will act as positive electrode. And what is the space between the anode and cathode? Means uh, the space between anode uh, between anode and cathode between anode and cathode what is there? That is uh, a moist moist NH4Cl and also this uh, graphite rod is surrounded by manganese dioxide plus carbon powder. Okay. So this is the actual idea about this one. In this we are going to see exactly what type of uh, equations are possible. So let us see the electrode reactions in this dry cell. Electrode reactions. Usually, uh, as you know, that anode oxidation reaction takes place. At anode, what reaction takes place? Ask means uh, you can tell that oxidation reaction takes place. The zinc oxidizes to zinc ions, Z2 plus plus two electrons. This is a anodic reaction. What is going to happen? At cathode, we will see. At cathode, 
the reaction is called as a reduction reaction that consisting of that is surrounded by manganese dioxide we just now discussed that manganese dioxide is going to join with the ammonium ions moist ammonium ions by taking the two electrons uh, from this anode here you will be getting some balanced equation when you have two moles of MnO2, two moles of ammonium ions, you will get Mn2O3 and as well as uh, some water in the equation along with the liberation of NH3. For simply, you can also write this equation as uh, MnO2 plus NH4 plus plus a single electron, if you write, then this will become Mn2O3OH2O will become MnOOH plus liberation of ammonia will take place. In this, whatever you are observing, this ammonia formed in this reaction, this ammonia is going to join with the zinc is combining with the zinc and forms a complex. It forms a complex that is called as ZnNH3 four times. ZnNH3 four times two plus tetraamine zinc ion. That's why the cell reaction, when you want to just reverse it, it is not going to uh, possible because Reverse reaction is not possible because of this complex. So this complex is formed means uh, we can understand that uh, reverse reaction cannot be possible. Reverse reaction cannot occur, cannot occur in this uh, uh, dry cell. That is why dry cell is also known as, uh, also known as, uh, the primary cell, that means what is primary battery means uh, the primary battery cannot be recharged. That's why this uh, dry cell has got disadvantage compared to the other lead acid battery and all what we discussed in the previous session. So, now you understand what are the anode and cathode reactions. In this, we can also call this magnet dioxide as uh, uh, cathodic polarizer is another name of this one. Okay. This is a construction. In this construction, you can understand that electrons flow. Electrons are going to travel from this uh, zinc to this, uh, what you call, cathode graphite rod. So, electron movement, if you observe, the electron movement, uh, I'm going to show with uh, this color, electrons movement. So from zinc to graphite rod, electrons movement will be there and the power can be observed uh, here from using the bulb. So finally, this we can call as one of the uh, small discussion about the dry cell, which is uh, going to be asked sometimes in the examinations for uh, some three mass question. It is also a three mass question if they ask construction or also if they ask any of the equation part related to dry cell, you can follow this uh, uh, diagram and equation. So you can write it with a little explanation in the exam. Thank you very much.